Hello and welcome to the NetData version 1.45 release notes. The main areas NetData has improved since the last release are There is a new NetData mobile app. You can now receive NetData alerts directly on your mobile phone for your business or home lab, more that in a bit, spaces. You can download the app on either the App Store or on Google Play. There is a new home lab plan. As you might have guessed, it is made for non-professional use, such as for students and technology enthusiasts, allowing you to get all the latest features of NetData. For the cost of a beer per month, you can get access to all the business features of NetData for your home lab or personal project. Cheers! Custom Dashboards You can now create advanced custom dashboards, drag and drop charts from the metrics or single node views and discover the new chart types in a fast and intuitive way. An all new network viewer has been released in the top section of our dashboard. With the network connections function, you can explore and visualize the connections of your servers and processes. The visualization graph has four sides, public, for example, public IPs, private or private and reserved IPs, servers, listening and inbound sockets, and clients for sockets towards other servers. The position of its application on the chart is determined by the classification of the sockets it has. To the top are clients, to the bottom are servers, to the right are internet-facing applications, and to the left is internal network applications. The size of each application in the chart is determined by the number of sockets it has. Each application is a pie chart representing the percentage of each kind of sockets it has. For servers with dozens of thousands of sockets, this tool provides an aggregated view, grouping similar sockets together and importing the total. Customization on metrics and single node view tabs. We've improved immensely the customization capabilities of NetData with the introduction of user settings. Our first release on this front is focused on the customization of charts, either on the metrics tab or on the single node view tab. Now you can create for any chart, personal views, room specific views, and space dedicated views. With this, you can define what is best for your team to visualize a given chart, but still allow each teammate to define their own. Users will be presented with a view they should see, based on setting hierarchy, but then they can interchangeably select which of the selected views they want. Dynamic configuration in beta. NetData agents are now deployed with the ability to dynamically accept configuration from your UI for data collection jobs and alerts. This feature is released in beta. With it, you can configure alerts in a streamlined and intuitive interface made both for novice and experienced users and configure silencing rules, allowing you to immediately create a silencing rule for an alert, room, or a node, while also being able to see the silencing rule's status directly on the entities like alerts, rooms, and nodes. macOS Process Monitoring NetData's Apps plugin has been ported to macOS, allowing users to view processes information on Linux, FreeBSD, and macOS. Just install the latest NetData on your macOS and enjoy full process monitoring. New Build Infrastructure Starting with NetData 1.45, we have completely removed our GNU AutoTools-based build system and replaced it with CMake. The new CMake build system has a number of significant benefits for developers, package maintainers, and those using local builds of NetData. Go plugin moved to main repository. Alongside the new CMake build system, we have also moved the GoD plugin code from the NetData GoD plugin repository to the main NetData NetData repository. And these were our highlights, but there is way more at our full release notes, so make sure to take a look in the description to read more. Thanks for watching and make sure to stick around for more.